Hey, what is up guys? Kyle again, and today I'm gonna to be talking about my experiences in printing with ABS on the Creality CR10S. I'm gonna be using PLA as a benchmark because chances are you started printing with PLA plastic. That being said, I'm just gonna be outlining some of the main differences between printing with ABS plastic and PLA. And I'm just gonna list some of the differences to see if a printing with ABS could be the right material for you. I'm gonna start by talking about the accuracy of both materials. Both filaments can be used to create dimensionally accurate prints down to about 1.2 millimeters. But I found that printing with PLA was a lot easier to get the fine details out of your prints. This was in part mostly because I always spent a lot of time dealing with the bed adhesion for ABS and overall just had more issues with printing with ABS. And it was just a whole lot easier to achieve a better surface finish for your overall prints using PLA. Since ABS prints using a higher nozzle and bed temperature, bed adhesion is much more important because ABS is more prone to warping and peeling up around the edges. I was never really able to print ABS properly on a taped bed because it kept peeling up the tape. So to get most of my ABS prints to stick, I use a spray-on fixative before I begin each print. In addition to this, I also required some sort of enclosure when printing with ABS, which really helped me keep a consistent bed temperature. I ended up using a emergency blanket that I just purchased off of Amazon, and I tied it up with a elastic band at the top and this worked really well as an improvised enclosure. Being printed at a higher temperature, I should also mention that heat resistance is another great thing about ABS. ABS has a higher melting point of about 105 degrees Celsius, so it makes it more suitable for parts that you might be printing that is exposed to some of those hot summer days. PLA in terms of heat resistance is a bit more lacking because it starts to lose some of its structural integrity around 60 degrees Celsius. And if you're gonna be using your print as more of a mechanical function, then I would still recommend to use ABS because it is more rugged. Both PLA and ABS have adequate tensile strength, but ABS has a greater ductility. So this means how much stress the material can take before the material deforms or snaps. I found this property particularly useful when I was designing my custom camera plate for my Canon M5. And I required it to overhang and cantilever on the tripod, which I'm using right now actually. And I would also be using my camera in potentially hot summer days outside so I wouldn't have to worry about it melting on me. As well as being under load with heavier lenses, I didn't want to worry about it snapping on me. Lastly, I'm going to be talking about the overall ease with printing with the materials. PLA is normally the go-to plastic filament for beginners in 3D printing and it doesn't give off much odor when you do print it. On the other hand, ABS gives off more noticeable fumes and I normally wear a respirator when I'm handling ABS 3D prints as well as when I'm spraying fixative on the bed before each print. I just rather not have to worry as much about the VOCs potentially affecting my health in the long term. So that's something just to keep in mind. That's all there is for this video. If you found my comments somewhat helpful, please feel free to give me a thumbs up down below. As well, if you're interested in following my journey in design and fabrication, I'm here posting every week on a variety of different skills that I learn as well as the projects I take on. I'll be putting out videos every week and I'll see you guys in the next one.